Hi guys, blessings, hope all is well, Sister Hagar here. I wanted to come on today to let you guys know that um, today's post is actually not a video. It's uh, written, it's a dream and a message, but I typed it up instead of making a video. So if you guys have not um, checked out my latest written post in the community section, you definitely want to go over there and check it out. It's the most recent one at the top. I think I posted it yesterday. And it's uh, entitled, The Spirit of Doubt Will Try to Approach You. And here's the picture. You know, just the girl questioning. That's the picture for it. So you can find it easily. And yeah, I just wanted to come on here and uh, show you guys that. In case you haven't read the dream and the message. So you could also have that. This is a very important piece of the puzzle so if you guys have been keeping up with everything you know that this week we've been going through uh helpful tips and clarity uh that the lord has been releasing to help us kind of navigate to find our way into our promise in our favor okay so for a lot of us it's not going to be so obvious it's not just going to drop out the sky and fall into our lap. For some of you, a lot of you it may, but not for everybody, okay? Not everyone is going to have a huge check fall out the sky, uh, you know, like that. It's not how it's going to happen. We have to navigate our way through and pursue and seek and find the Lord. Um, and so that's what he's kind of been giving us this week. It's like helpful tent tips on how to recognize your promise because it may not be as obvious what you've been expecting it may not come through ways that you may be thinking of you may not recognize it and so my previous message if you haven't seen my last video you want to check that out because that was talking about not judging things by their size and not dismissing things that um, could be favored because you when you look at it on the surface, if you only judge it by sight, it may seem too small. It may not seem like anything important. It may not seem like a real blessing. It may not seem attractive to you. So if you haven't seen my last video, it has the picture with the word favor on it. You definitely want to get that message because it's kind of building our understanding. Don't, don't judge it by its size. Because we serve a Lord of multiplication. And now this is <clears throat> giving us a heads up. During this process as we're finding our way to our favor and blessings. And we're so close. The enemy is going to try and come in. Whether it's through our own thoughts and our own mind. Or through other people. Or just through a wicked spirit. It's going to try and come in and create doubt. Oh, you know, is this really true? Now, keep in mind, this has to first apply to you. You first have to be in right standing with the Lord. And you first have to be in that category that the Lord is, you know, that the Lord is labeling you as, you know, you meet the requirements to receive the last day's promise and blessings, that elevation, that increase. Okay, you have to first fit into that category. I want to keep making that clear and repeating that, that this is not out of a thousand subscribers. I'm very sure that this is not going to apply to every single person. Okay. I have to keep making that clear. So first you have to be in the narrow path. You have to qualify to be in that group. Second, as long as you qualify and the Lord has promised you these things, the spirit of doubt may try to enter through whatever means. And you can read the dream and the message to get the full picture um, to kind of, you know, it's basically just a warning to be on the lookout for this. Don't let the spirit of doubt, whether it's through your own thoughts, your own doubt, your own mind, whether it's through another person, because we're going to have a lot of that. It's going to be people who aren't themselves on the narrow path. Okay. They're not going to be receiving favor just like with Joseph and his brothers and it's going to be people crawling out of the woodwork who don't got their stuff together and it's going to be 
uh, trying to create and sow seeds of doubt in your heart and your mind. Oh, you think you deserve some blessing and favor? Oh, you think that's what the Lord is doing in this season? Oh, this and that. Oh, this and that. And I give you directions. Jesus himself was actually in this dream. So you definitely want to check it out because he gives us our strategy on how to respond and deal with it and not let it create a distraction or slow us down or hinder us from entering into that promised land and receiving that favor, okay? So I just wanted to point that out for you guys and let you know I was there. And I got to go get some work done. I'll catch up with you later, Lord's willing. I'll see you guys next time. Hope the rest of your day is blessed in the Lord. And talk to you later.